good Friday morning to you. This is Preacher Scott coming to you with just a little word of uh, love and compassion on this Friday morning. I pray that you've had a good week and uh, you can see that I'm in my truck. I'm going to, to take a load of hay to deliver this morning. And you know, it's been a it's been a busy, chaotic week, not only for myself, but for you and, and everyone in this world. who We've been faced with a lot of rain and the ground has been damp. Uh, the sun's shining this morning and we've had some, some great weather at other times of the week as well. And isn't it wonderful how God continues to care for us even in the midst of what we think is problems or, or traumatic things, he is continuing to be there for us. Um, it says over in Acts chapter 10 that God is no respecter of persons. And, you know, that does not mean that he doesn't love us. We, we can't be on the same playing field as God, but he loves us unconditionally as his children. And with all the stuff that we're going through right now with, with racial issues and all, the Bible is a great place to turn when we talk about interacting with our fellow man and just being being uh, compassionate towards one another. Uh, I think that God just desires for us to live by the golden rule. And I had a, uh, a, a boss man one time that he would joke and he would say the golden rule was that he who has the gold makes the rule. Uh, he was just kidding around, of course, and he was one of the the best bosses that I ever worked for because he was very understanding of what what family life and and what individual life looks like and you know he was compassionate enough to know that when when I or others that worked under him had problems or concerns that we needed to meet those needs but we could do that in accordance to God's will and in accordance to what we knew about being good stewards about our work atmosphere, we could meet our home needs as well as get our, our job needs done as well. So he, he was just a great guy. Uh, but you know, the golden rule is we should treat each other the way we desire to be treated. Man, if we would just live by that each and every day, we are a uh, slowly but surely becoming a society and a generation who feels so entitled. We want it all. We don't want to give anything back much, but we want it all and we want it all now. God's word says that's not the way we should behave. And I wanted to, to, to share some scripture with you. And I want to reassure you now that God, he accepts all that fear and trust upon him and do what's right. In Matthew chapter 5, beginning in verse 43, we find these words, and it's really uh, talking about the love of our enemies. But it says, You have heard the law that says, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. In that way, you will be acting as true children of the Father in heaven. For he gives us sunlight to both the evil and the good. He sends rain on the just and the unjust alike. And isn't that wonderful and powerful? God loves all of us unconditionally. He knows what we need. If I'm praying uh, for, for some dry weather today because I need to get some hay out of the field, there's somebody else praying for rain because they just put something in or, or maybe they're in another area that it's, that it's scorched and parched. But God knows what we need. And he goes on to say, if you love only those who love you, what reward is there for that? Even corrupt tax collectors do that much. If you're kind only to your friends, how are you different from anyone else? Even pagans do that. But you are to be perfect even as your Father in heaven is perfect. I don't claim to be perfect, neither do you. But we're all in this together. I've heard that several times on the radio, and, and I've kind of got tired of hearing it. But if we would just treat our fellow man the way that we would want to be treated and continue on a day-to-day -day basis to show love, compassion, and concern to one another, man, what a different world this would be. Hey, I pray that you have a great Friday. I pray that you show the love of God to each and every person that you come in contact with today, even if it's just a wave out of your automobile, uh, a smile upon your face. Just do that today and, and watch how people react. Hey, I love you. I thank you for the time that uh, we have each and every Friday morning to join in a short devotion. And I have uh, hope that you've enjoyed this. Hope you have a great week weekend. And we'll see you with our message on uh, Sunday morning. Take care.